Hello, this is Official Girl Team. In my, in my last video, I showed you how to make a hair bow. This thing or whatever. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bow tie. So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the army print again. I'm going to cut. I'm trying to cut really fast so this video won't be really long. I don't use the fast forwards or anything. Because I want you to know how long it takes and whatnot. So yeah. And if you want to, you can use like regular fabric or whatever. I'm just using pants. I don't want to waste any good fabric or anything though. Like that. So yeah. And then what you just want to do is cut a long enough piece so you can still have extra or whatever. So you can still do the other part, but that's for later. I'm just gonna cut it. This is gonna be a long piece, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of trimming. Oh, huh, it's getting tough right here. Just off from the other side. There you go. Now we have a very large piece of fabric that I'm going to trim. Right now, in the last video, I have all my fabrics and everything already trimmed out. In this video, I want to show you how to do it. So, what you're going to do is, you see, this is very uneven. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to get a piece of the fabric like this. And you're going to get your scissors right there and make a little cut in it. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab the other side of the fabric. And then you hold it against the scissors like this. And then you start to go down. Make sure it's all even or your piece will continue to be uneven. Okay. I do it like this because it seems easier to me than just trying to cut off straight, which wasn't going to work. Um, this one piece is still crooked, so I'm going to go trim it again a little closer now. Keep it down. Make sure you try to keep it in the same spot so your thing can be the same length all across. This is good now. And you wanna don't you don't wanna trim too much because um you end up with a um, very small piece of fabric and you won't be able to make as good of a bow with it. Just gonna do that all around this little square perimeter. Okay, that's it. And we have a square, it's a little uneven, but that is totes fine. Now what we're gonna do, since this is a bow tie, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. So that's what we're gonna do with this video. Bow tie video. I love arts and crafts. I love to learn new things and to help people, you know. I, wanna, I like to help other people learn how to do things. Because if I find something new that nobody else has done or everything, I want to be able to share it with other people. So, that's why I do these videos. But I know somebody already might know how to do this. But, that's just what I just want to do this. And you see on the back of it, you want to get a piece that has different colors. So, one not in it. I just tried to get something of that sort. I'm so sick. just gonna go down it and like I said in my last video I recommend you to use a hot glue gun or even super glue but the thing with that is you cannot get it on your hands that's why with this glue I can get it on my hands and I can just take a little break in between and go wash them after I'm done with one video and since it's this fabric since we're doing a big sh uh, sheet of fabric I'm just gonna go over it again make sure it sticks nice and good what we're going to do in this one is we're just going to do the same steps as we did with the bow tie. Okay. 
you don't want this one to overlap, okay? So on this one, you have to have your measurements. Oh, good. So don't press down until you have the exact thing. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, you see that? I got it glued and I was trying to trim my edges. After you glue the first, like after you do the first step of gluing, I want you to trim it. Because if you try to trim all the way at the end, I found out that um it kind of messes up the shape of your bow. And even if, even because I'm using um school glue, even though I'm using it, it's a very well stick because I made some this morning, and they are very nice. Now, like I told you, scrunch time. But now, I told you, sometimes it's hard to maintain the form of it. So, what I do, I grab it. Like, okay, see this, I hope you guys can see it. So adjust the camera a little bit. Want to turn it this way or something? Um, okay. Hope this is a little better for you guys. I'm going to go up closer. Now, what I'm going to do is flatten everything out. And now I'm going to do like this, scrunch. And I'll scrunch this part, and then I'll scrunch that part. Now we have that form. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it back out, just to know that I can get the form. Wanted to see if I can do that. Now, or if you wanted to, you could do like this. Have a really little weird shaped bow tie. Um, it doesn't really look right that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna make. You want it to like. Okay, say for instance you couldn't get the right shape. Just fold it in half. And then wherever you find your pieces, wherever you put the glue is, my measurement is right. So I just do that. And no, I'm not a professional or anything. So it is possible for amateurs to do it because I'm an amateur at a lot of this stuff. See that? Where that little line is? That's where my glue is. That's why I'm using it so like you guys can see. Now what I'm going to do is okay, I'm going to show you like a scrunch right here where your little line is. Scrunch. Okay? I want you to scrunch right there. And then the rest of it will kind of like tie in with it. Now we're not done. We're not done. If you watch my video, my other video for both eyes, you would probably know that we are not done. There, we got that possibly almost done. Now what we do is we just gonna open it up. We're gonna get the glue inside of here too, so it's nice and gluey. So now we just scrunch that back together. You still get your form back. Now, as I told you in my other video, I'm just going to get a, um, a piece of something. And this time, we're not using a clip. We're not using the clip on this video. No clips on this video. Oh, I think I might use a clip. I'm not sure. It depends how everything works out. Now, we're just going to wrap it around. I'm trying to like tell you guys the steps because I don't have like nothing on the screen to tell you what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to like tell you guys what I'm doing. Or girls. I don't know if some people don't like to be called guys or whatever. So now if it's too thick or fat, you want it to cut it. Or you can just cut it at the skinny part and save all that trouble. Now what you want to do is get some glue. It's all about the glue. Okay, now we got the glue on there. Under her. See that purple on this? That's why I use this kind of glue instead of hot glue because I want you guys to be able to see it. Now you have a big, big, big bow. Now we're going to get to the bow tie part. Now we're going to do is, he wants, um, let me get this back out. So you want to get something that's long enough for your neck. You don't want to just squeeze your neck. You don't want that. So what I'm going to do is just cut a very long strip. I'm cutting it over here. 
And if you use fabric, you want to get some long fabric because, you know, you don't know. this and see if it can fit around your neck and this was a little short so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another strip something from up here it's a skinny strip and what we want is for this one I cut it thick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through it and cut it again still do still doing that same um holding technique what I told I what I told you guys um that I do do a holding technique. I like to hold it. It gets you more accuracy. But if you don't hold it the right way, it can get curved and you know your piece will end up messed up. Uh, got two very long skinny pieces. Get this. Now we're going to get these two long pieces and glue them or sew them, but today I'm just going to use glue because sewing takes a lot. Just glue it on your desk or whatever surface you're using. Get the other piece. Oh, I can't see it because the bow's in the way. See that the glue just stick the other piece right on top of the glue. And it just looks like it's connected. Now I know this is big enough for your neck. I'm going to make this to fit my neck. So whatever you do, adjust it to fit your neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this around my neck. Hold my hair back so I don't get stuck in my hair. You see this? It's really long. I don't want my bow tie to be hanging down. So what I'm going to do is... Um, you see the camouflage? I don't know if you can see it or not, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it. That's what I'm gonna do. And now it's like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this half on to the bow tie in the back. I'm gonna put some glue right in that little flap right there. See, it just look like it's connected. Now I have to put it back in my neck, over my neck, so I can make sure it's not too long or too short. Now we want, we don't want it to be tight because you want to be able to take it on and off, okay? So what I'm gonna recommend is you put the bow tie up to your neck like this and get this. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna get some more glue. See, I took the strip off, and now we have a long enough strip to fit around our neck with space. Okay. So we're just gonna put some glue on it. And I'm telling you, this is a very, very easy process if you just follow instructions and like that. If you follow the instructions, everything will come to you easy. No lie, because I'm I didn't watch a video for this. You see this, this that I'm making right now. I didn't watch a video another video to see how to do it. I just was like, oh, let me think about a bow tie. What if I wanted to wear a bow tie and have something con to connect with my bow? And then I was like, oh yeah, I can do this and do that. And then here I am showing you how to make a bow that I created. I don't think I created it, but I'm just saying, I created it in my own way. But, yeah. <laughs> so, 
so I'm just gonna get this, see that, put it in a flap. 